Zell boy army welcome to another spicy video on the challenge foot 21 headliners is here so you can see on the right side of my screen those are some of the star players there Jao felix bruno fernandez fabinho we are going to look through each one of the foot headliners i'm going to talk to you about them say which ones i think are good the foot headliners promo tends to be a pretty decent one um there's some interesting players in this so we're going to go through them and then I'm going to do two videos tonight. This one now, we're going to be covering foot headliners. Then I'm going to do one that I post again later tonight where we look at the new season level up. Season three, like level one to 30. Look at the objectives, uh, any SBCs that are out. So some good content tonight. And then tomorrow, I'm going to do a team of the year prediction. One disappointing thing with this foot headliners promo is that it says foot headliners team one which almost certainly means that we're not getting team of the year for two weeks, I would say, which is a bit disappointing. Um, yeah, it means that we get two lots of headliners and we're going to get team of the year guaranteed anyway. It's too good a promo for here not to make. But here, Foot 21 headliners, it explains it. Headliner items are always at least one in form upgrade higher than their latest qualifying performance based, um, based in form. Okay, yeah. So team of the week, some other match heroes, team of the group stage, cards like that. Or their base line. If their club achieves four consecutive domestic league wins, the headliner, I forgot about that actually, the headliner will earn an additional informal grade and remain two informal grades higher than their latest performance based in form. So that can make for some pretty spicy, interesting cards, to be honest. Um, there is something I'm a bit disappointed about with these headliners, and we'll get to that. Oh, when I click to go. Yeah, that, that's a bit stupid. When I click to go to the headlines, it takes me to the store. Um, I think I should be able to just search for them in here. Bit disappointing, that, though. They don't even have the headliners here. I can't say I'm sure. Let me see if there's a way of seeing them in the news. If not, I know what they all are, so we'll be searching for them. Item releases... No, that's not work. Oh, oh, there we go. It won't even let me, um, what you call it, go look at them there. So we'll have to go to the squad and search them one by one. I don't get EA sometimes why they don't update things. Sometimes they do. It's a bit weird. Okay, the first one, the big one, Bruno Fernandes, as they say in the game. I prefer to say Bruno Fernandes. I don't get this. Why? Why have they made the headliner better than the, um, what you call it, player of the month? You might say, oh, they're the same level, but the headliner's got one more pace, and headline pace is more important because it's harder to get. So the headline, it's basically the same card. Let's not uh, mess about with it. But the headliner is basically the same as the player of the month. So for me, we've got Bamba, Jao Felix, and Bruno Fernandez, who are all headliners. They all have Player of the Months already, so they've basically screwed over anyone who did these Player of the Months cards. But anyway, Bruno Fernandes has been arguably the most informed player in the Premier League this calendar year. He has changed Man United. I'm hoping he has a bad game tonight because he's playing against my boys, Aston Villa. But he's a brilliant player, and he is a brilliant card on foot. I think he will probably get in the Team of the Year. Um, but... Them giving him a headline and maybe suggest not as like, I don't know. I don't really know how to play here sometimes. Whatever makes them more money, I guess. But this headliner card, fantastic. United probably will get four wins in a row at some point, which will get him to a 92. And then I'd be pretty surprised if he didn't get at least one more in form. He's got the most goal contributions in the league, for crying out loud. Like this guy just leaks goal contributions in the positive sense. Fantastic card, four star, four star. This card's pretty quick now for a midfielder. Elite shooting, elite passing, good on the ball. I mean, he's getting to the point where shooting's nearly good enough that you can put a shadow on him. Like, you'd be tempted to put a shadow on him now because he, he's not getting any shot power off of you. And he's pretty good physically. That 99 stamina is pretty tasty as well. Okay, the next, this next one's just irrelevant. I don't know why they've even done this. He's just useless. A Fabinho centre-back's pretty cool, but giving him 69 pace, just what is the point? I would have loved them to go a bit different and give him like 80 pace. If this Fabinho had 80 pace, what a card he'd have been triple linked to Allison. But 70 pace is so useless on this game. Like, we're in New Year now. Like, he'd have to get eight upgrades before he's probably even usable with that pace. Like, 
which obviously isn't happening for Fabinho. Great card until you look at the pace, and yeah, that pace just screws him over. Okay, the next one, what a card this will be. He will probably be a, a joke of a price, unfortunately. And these headliners, historically, over the last two FIFAs, have tended to be pretty crazy prices. But the, yeah, regardless, this Ben Yadair, geez, like, look at that. You can get a hunter on him. He gets 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, 99 finishing, 99 movement. He's got good shot power. His passing's good. Like, long shots, I do like having a long shot for a finesse outside the box. But it's not that essential. Long shot's more just a luxury to have. It is nice to be there. This one's very good at dribbling. The big weakness on it is the physical. I don't know how good Monaco are doing in real life, to be honest. So, I don't know if they're going to get four and forms in a row. But it is a good card. Definitely can't knock that one. Um, ben Yedder will be a bit of an animal. Okay, the next one. This guy team definitely will not get four wins in a row at some point. But he is a good card. Just lacks a bit in one area. So, on paper... This card's pretty special. I'd be looking at a dead eye or a finisher. Um, finishers, yeah, finishers shooting and dribbling, I think. Um, he doesn't need that much pace. And when you look at it, like, five-star skills is nice. Three-star weak foot just kills it a bit. If he had four-star weak foot, this guy would be one of the best options in the Prem. He's still a very good card. Out wide, I'd be using him. But, yeah, centrally, just three-star lacks a bit. He's the Ivorian Puskas at the moment. Oyazabal, this guy's been rocking it lately. Um, but three-star, three-star kills him. If he was four-star, four-star, it's a very, very good option to play centrally in La Liga. Sossi had a right up there in La Liga. You can see he's got to play them up. I just think it's a bit of a useless card on FIFA. Now, this next one will probably, like, He'll probably cost a ridiculous amount. His player of the month was about 350-400k, which I don't think was too badly priced. And this this 86 is pretty close, to be honest. It's only got one less shooting, one less pace, one less on the dribbling. Like, there's not much difference between this headliner and the player of the month. For normally, between an upgrade, I thought there'd be a big difference. To me, that's almost a bit... I just think it's a bit unfair on people who did the player of the month not long ago, to be honest, that EA have made it such a close card. They saw us try to just sell this promo, which to me is not right, but EA's promo, they can do what they want with it. He is a fantastic card, though. The five-star skills is nice to have. Four-star weak foot's great. His 87, I've not used him, but lots of pros have got him and like him. I've played against him. He is a nightmare. He's good in the air. He's quick. His shooting's clinical, he's great on the ball, he can pass like he's a fantastic card. Atletico will win four games in a row at some point, I'd be almost certain, so he's pretty much guaranteed an 87. He's very informed this year, so he'll probably get another upgrade, so he'll probably surpass his player of the month within the next month or two. Maybe two months, I'd say, but great card. One of the best in this promo so far. Uh, Bamba, another one that's had a player of the month. Uh, this is as good as his player of the month, actually, because he had an inform in between then. Oh, he's better than his player of the month because um, he has one more pace. Oh, no, wait, actually. Th that's a bit different. This one has a lot less passing, but he has more dribbling. And he has one less physical, but the card doesn't say that, so he ain't messed up there. I would still be going for this one. I prefer the dribbling and pace over one shooting and even three passing. Passing's not that big. Um, This Bamba, though, Good card. I think Lille probably would have a decent chance of four wins in a row in the French League. Um, he is a pretty good option. Like, four-star, four-star's nice. He doesn't have any of the shooting traits, but you can put a Hunter on him if you want to get 94 finishing. I'd be probably looking more at a finisher or a Hawk. Get the physical up a bit or max the dribbling and finish it out. Very good card. Do like him. And he'll probably be a reasonable price. Okay, this one, this guy's going to actually be pretty good, you know. Mkhitaryan, they've also made him central. There is not many elite options in the um, Serie A this year. Hear me out here. You put a Hawk on him, he's getting pretty good physical, but not max pace. I I'm not going for that. But put a Hunter on him. We're looking at 95 Excel, 93 Sprint, which does fix a lot of the pace issues. 93 finishing, 99 shot power. He's already got elite passing. Pretty good dribbler. Uh, 
This guy could also be a pretty good creative CDM. Look at that as a creative CDM. Decent defending. It's going to be quick. Elite shooting. Good physical. Up. This Mkhitaryan probably is not going to cost a lot. And he's probably going to be very, very good for the coins. If you were in a Serie A team, he could play in any of the attacking positions or the creative CDM. I really rate that card. This next one, just why? Herodeki, it's a keeper. Let's move on. Don't get that one. I know they probably want to put a keeper in there, but come on. Hinteregger, pretty good. Just a bit slow. He's got good sprint speed, though, which matters more. If he was a CDM, it's not a bad all-round defensive destroyer. But, yeah, not too bored about Hinteregger. Amavi, I feel like this league's already got a few decent left-back options. And France has Fio and Anders, so... It's a bit irrelevant, to be honest. I didn't know Jordan Amavi had five-star weak foot. It's interesting. He used to play for Aston Villa. He definitely had a five-star weak foot when he played at Urs. Um, It's a pretty good card, to be fair. The five-star weak foot makes it better than I first thought. Stick a shadow on, you're getting a pretty good card. He's just a bit of a worse Mendy, to be honest, but pretty good. He probably will be pretty cheap as well. Marseille tend to be a pretty good team, so I could see getting the four and four, uh, four wins in a row to get a boost to an 86, and it's a very good card. Um, Yeah, the headliners promo looking decent. Some decent cards. The ones that stand out to me are Bruno Fernandes, of course, Ben Yadair, Zahar's not bad, Felix, Bamba, Mick Tern, and Amave. For me, the top three are Ben Yadair, Fernandez, and then either Mkhitaryan or Felix. That Mkhitaryan is genuinely going to be very good. It surprised me how good his card is. But I have seen his 85 before and thought it looked pretty good. Anyway, that is this promo. Hope you guys like it. Make sure you tune in to the video later where we look at the latest SBCs, Season 3 objectives. Appreciate you guys' support. Hope you're enjoying your evening.